I'm here at Base Camp in South Australia. It's an obstacle course training gym and I'm here to find out how hard it is to do parkour while you're holding a huge shield. Now Captain America holds a shield and it doesn't seem to stop him from leaping around like a gazelle. But before you jump into the comments and say, oh you're not as strong as him, oh your shield's not made of the same type of metal as him, I know. This isn't me trying to prove the Captain America film's wrong, I'm just trying to find out how hard it is to do shield parkour for a normal guy like me. I come here all the time but will the weight of a shield be enough to throw my weight distribution off and make me smash my face? Hopefully not, let's find out. The reason that that happened, you can't put your arms in the place you would normally put to like balance your weight in the air. It just catches a lot of wind, pushes you up and throws your balance off. There's a lot of obstacles that you need two hands for. Rope, for example. I can't really put my hand in the right position. Both hands would have been better. taking it easy because I don't have any enemies it's not really a fair test so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bounce on that trampoline and land on there but in the air I'm gonna get a six kilogram medicine ball thrown at me Another thing that annoys me about the movie is how the hell does he throw it and catch it with these two straps? I know this isn't an exact screen replica prop, this took me like an hour to make. He throws it at like a billion miles an hour and it's spinning like crazy. Somehow when he catches it though, it's spinning and he gets his arm in between these two straps. He never gets it like in one and out the other or caught on one or like misses them all together. Can I do that? There's a bit in Captain America Winter Soldier where he falls out of an elevator quite far and just lands on the shield for support. Would that really help? So what did we find out? Pretty much exactly the thing that I said at the start. The shield doesn't screw you up completely, but you do have to hold your arm at weird angles, which means you have to hold all the rest of your limbs at different angles to account for the distribution and weight that's different to what you're used to. Obviously you could practice with it every day and get good, but I'm not gonna do that. I had kind of a similar problem when I did the one punch man parkour thing. I had a cape which doesn't really weigh a lot, but it turned out it did weigh enough to kind of throw off my weight distribution. You can check out that video and all the other parkour things. I did Deathstroke, Deadpool, Daredevil, all the D guys. And Green Arrow, they'll be around the screen somewhere or linked or whatever. 